Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and um, we'll get back to the controller in a bit. Running a Kickstarter is more work than I thought it would be. Um, of course, everybody told me Kickstarter, doing a Kickstarter, it's a lot of work. And if you don't know, Residual, my new game, is on Kickstarter right now. Check it out. We're currently at 46% funded. We're nearing the um, midway of the month. Um, I still have good hopes that we're gonna get there. So please check it out. There's a demo available and everything and you can help make this game happen. But um, doing a Kickstarter is a little bit more work. A lot of the promotion and marketing and everything, um, I already do those things when I create a game. So posting GIFs, making GIFs, um, animations or whatever. I already did those things, but having a Kickstarter out there it's just an extra push to make more content and show more content because you really want to talk about the game every day and point people towards the Kickstarter. So there's just a little extra push that really makes me create new GIFs and animations and find interesting things to post. And that that's a little bit more work than I thought it would be. But still, uh, I think I'm managing pretty well. So um, in between all that Kickstarter stuff, I'm also working on the game because I'm still pushing updates to the demo that's available. And this week was a pretty good week for that demo um, and me, because let's talk about game pads after the intro. All right, so if you've played any of my games in the past on any mobile device, you know that they are best played with a hardware controller or gamepad connected to your phone, tablet, or whatever. Um, if you've played my games on PC, you know that they are also best played with a gamepad, but gamepad support was terrible. Um, I write my games in Java using libgdx, which is a extremely great tool. And if you wanna do cross-platform stuff, check it out if you're using Java already, then libgdx, great solution. Uh, but the controller support was terrible. It, uh, well, it was almost didn't really exist. Some controllers would work on some operating systems. So you could have an Xbox controller on Windows 9 and it would work, but that same controller on Windows 10 might not work. Or that same controller on Linux would work, but on Mac OS it wouldn't. And that's just the most common controller. If you had anything else besides an Xbox controller, it probably didn't work in my game. And I tried a lot of stuff over the years and I had support for many controllers and gamepads and various configurations. But I always had to say, well, controller support depends and I can't really promise it to you. Until this week, um, I can now promise gamepad support. It's in the current demo, you can download it for residual. I already had feedback from players and their gamepad is working because there is a great little tool called SDL to libgdx. I'll info on the screen. And this is a great little framework and SDL framework is one of the better gamepad supporting frameworks out there or had a very good gamepad support framework. And this basically hooks into that and all that knowledge and database on which controller does what. And we can now vibrate the controller. We can support all the Xbox types and PlayStation. And I saw 8-bit do controller thingies in there. Almost any controller you throw at it and works in other games should now also work in my game. And that's just residual. Having this up and running in residual means um, I will be going into all my previous games on PC and update them with this new code. Luckily, it's fairly easy and not a lot of work. So I'm very happy about it because I'm going to update Space Grunts, Meganoid, Gunslugs games and Heroes of Loot games. They're all going to have this great new controller support, which should hopefully make it a lot easier for people to get my games on PC and play them. Because I know it has been a barrier and a hurdle not having great gamepad support for my type of games. They are built and designed for gamepad support, so they should have had it. It was just technically never possible until somebody else did all the work and figured out how to do it. And uh, so our gamepad support and residual is now pretty much done.
implementing that whole gamepad support also meant I had to go through all the code and made all the instructions for everything um, fit the controller you're using. I haven't implemented all the touch stuff because this game isn't running on touch screens just yet, but I did leave all the room there for it. Uh, we have keyboard and mouse support, we have gamepad support and all the prompts and in user instructions and all that stuff that you see on screen is now um, handled much better at the back end. So it's now more flexible for me to uh, include instruction in the game. Final thing I did this week was add a visor and it will allow you to scan the planet and show you the nearby resources and information on the planet and it's it's gonna need a lot of work because right now it's very cool to see this little table of information about the planet but once you know the planet's information you don't need to see that every time you open the visor so I can probably come up with more interesting things there like there's an anomaly nearby or there are creatures around you and what kind of creatures things like that but the most important part was making sure this visor works and, and hooks up and it's not going to be active in the game from the start. You actually have to uh, fix your spaceship first or a little part of the spaceship, which is also all the stuff I implemented. That's kind of game development, especially on games like this. You have one idea, but then it spawns a bunch of other ideas that all need to be built into the game before that one idea you had can be built into the game. <laughs> that's it for this week because like i said i've been very busy with the kickstarter stuff i've been busy with gamepad support this took up uh, multiple days and then just before i released the demo with all this new gamepad support i came to the conclusion that when i wrap it up as distribution file nothing worked so i had some panic and was working late and i got all fixed in time and it's now live so check out the residual demo on the kickstarter page please uh, share the link with anybody and everybody and um I'll see you guys next week. Bye.